Hey everyone, my name is Adisha and welcome to Learn with Adisha, RWA, which is Remastered with Adisha. Today we're covering the immune system. Sheesh, that's a lot of mistakes over there. Good thing we have all these plasters to take care of, but what's really going on inside? The immune system keeps your body healthy. The body has a bunch of exterior barriers to keep germs from getting in. Basically the skin. How would the germs actually get inside? They can't unless I drop them through, well, uh, a scratch, you could say. An injury. That's a lot of injuries over there. Come on, at least get better sometime. But let's see what's going on inside. Here in your body, they have these little things called lymph nodes. Over here is the thymus. And here is the spleen. Here's some bone marrow, which I, which I thought I told you about in the skeletal system video. If you didn't listen, sorry, but you're going to have to go and see that video to actually understand what bone marrow is and what it does. So the immune system fights off illnesses that spread through sneezing and touching and holding hands and all that stuff. If germs are swirling around places your skin doesn't cover, coughing, sneezing and watering eyes push them out. Inside your body, white blood cells, not red blood cells, white blood cells, attack viruses and bacteria. In total, they're called germs. Let's see what's happening inside a lymph node. From the outside, it looks just like this. Blood vessels going in and out, and the lymph node looks like a kidney bean for some reason. Here we have killer, helper, and B, killer and helper T cells and B cells. Let's try adding some bacteria in. Ooh, they didn't stand a chance. You see there, they have receptacles in the form of various shapes in this time, but they're a lot more complex. When bacteria enters here, some cells exit, thinking that an invasion is happening outside the body. But no, it's just me. But some alerts, some cells alert other cells to come over here and help. These alerts kind of go through the entire body, so those bacteria don't stand a chance. Killer T cells are basically designed to latch on and murder. Basically a serial killer in terms of bacteria. B cells warn the entire body and call in every single thing they can. They even produce antibodies to help, well, dissipate the infection. But from the outside, it seems like nothing's happening. This is a lymph vessel. This thing. But let's add some bacteria, say. Add some bacteria, viruses, something like that. Let's make this guy feel unwell. Now, you can see here. More and more cells come on to help the ongoing onslaught end. Because the body doesn't really want this to even happen in the first place. But we made it happen. Only for educational purposes. So this is what's happening inside your body every time you get sick.
every time. And if you get sick with something that you well had before, like the flu, if you had the flu before and you got the same variant, well, already there's tons of cells ready to fight. Basically, the robber was caught even before he could steal. Crazy, huh? Well, since you already know all the basics of the immune system now, I assume you don't really need my help. So, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to all your friends and family and everyone. And see you in the next one.